sturdy hands. So nice, nice warm milfs to keep your hands warm in this unseasonably cold weather. And it's gonna be big. And that got me thinking, maybe maybe that's not my calling. I noticed the weather so much, maybe I should work for the news channel. And you know, I, I had to start thinking about that too. And every time my wife and I are intimate, I like to whisper in her ear, this just in, because it gets me in the mood. So I would be an excellent candidate to tell you about all the goings on at, in your town. It would be it'd be wonderful. So I am married, and I'm a parent, and I've got a two-year-old little girl. She's a beautiful little thing, rambunctious. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Woohoo. Well, I was taking her to the park one day, and we were listening to the radio and everything, and then I hear in the back of the car, I like a dick. No, oh, it's too early. It's too early, I have failed you. But I didn't say anything because I was like, maybe she likes stick or thick. No, that's not better. <laughs> I don't know. So I turned around and I said, I'm still driving because it's safe. Don't do it. But I turned around because this is really important stuff. I said, what did you say, sweetheart? Daddy, I like dick. With confidence, she's not a lesbian. I was hoping for that so much, really. I really was. And come to find out, that she likes Dick. But I hadn't made the connection that she had recently met her great uncle Dick, which also was cause for even more concern than I had previously had. <laughs> but you can probably repeat We got it all worked out. That's not funny. Good job. So, yeah, I am not Asian. And you might not have noticed. If I smoke a little bit of weed, it, I, get, I get there a little, but not. <laughs> so, but being a black guy in Montana is kind of crazy, man. I'm like, there's like some, I'm as white as it gets, dude. Like, I am like a triple stuffed Oreo on the inside. I'm so white, it's crazy. Anytime another black guy sees me, he will see me like, we can pull him in Walmart. He'll park on the other side of the parking lot. <laughs> and he'll like walk and he's like, is this one walking through you? This And we'll make eye contact and it's like, I'm obviously the... so uncomfortable. But you always get a head nod and I've never been able to figure that out. It's like, are we fighting the man together? <laughs> is there a secret society that I don't know anything about because I'm from Montana and I'm white as fuck <laughs> and no one's told me? But Still, no invites. They start talking to me and they're like, hey, you look like you're uncomfortable when you drop an N-bomb. I'm like, very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. That's not, that's not for me. Which brings us to the final point that you should consider. There are some words that you have to be very careful about saying. Niggerly is one of them. It makes me uncomfortable. You know what that means? <laughs> should we renege? Be careful. <laughs> Transparent makes me very curious about how many transgender adoptive families there are in America. It's something no one's talking about, and it's a big deal. And, you know, one final thought. I would just like to say thank you to all of you for coming. You have some amazing talent coming up tonight. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be up here, and have a great night, guys.